Well, hi there. I didn't expect to see you again. Well, you kind of seemed like a big IUI fan. Yeah, I was very surprised when we got your application to be part of our um, experiment group. Um, well, I can't tell you that yet. We scheduled this appointment for you because we need to get metrics of your ears, uh, measurements, uh, samples, to make sure that you will work for um, most of our experiments. Granted, we have a couple other experiments that we can test other parts of your face for, but since we're focused pretty heavily on, on the ear experiments, it's, it's really hot in the science community right now. Um, that's really what we're looking for. So, I will probably need to start with an ear cleaning since you're a victim of audio flammin. Let me um, put my otoscope and take a look in your ears for you. We'll see what we are working with today. Uh, looking a lot better than I expected. When was the last time you were in here? Like a month and a half ago? or? Interesting. Oh, so you went back to IUI? Uh, so what made you change your mind about... Well, I was pretty sure that, um, that being part of their program excluded you from being able to come here, right? Oh, okay. Well... I'm not surprised they loosened up. We've poached a lot of their subjects. Um, well, let me go ahead and start with uh, getting your ears clean, and then we'll be using a device to uh, take measurements of the inside of your ear. It's not uncomfortable at all, but it sounds really weird. We'll be sticking it directly inside your ear, and it takes about two, three minutes each ear to get us a lot of important numbers that our computer will then analyze and um, after that we'll be taking some samples and measurements on the outside of your ears with another device Well, just because you don't necessarily qualify at first doesn't mean we won't call you back for another. It's just in the rotation right now, the experiments that we have going need certain types of people. So if you were looking to participate um, in the near future, you need to qualify, but we can get you signed up be part of the experiment group and we can call you in when we have stuff that's appropriate for you. Let me just, there's one big piece that's just like hanging here. Okay. Oh yeah? Well, uh, what are they working on right now? That sounds stupid. One sec. No, no, just something for your chart about your ears. Um, just that sounds really stupid. Oh, uh, well, I probably shouldn't have been so cavalier with mentioning that to you last time. Um, that is uh, a service that we. Um, that we pay people for when they're part of the experiment team, but that's that's after a lot of NDAs are signed. So why don't we focus on what's at hand currently? Let me take a look. Oh yeah, so the reader that I put in your ear 
gets gummed up by any amount of earwax and the because of the way that it does measurement inside your ear it it has difficulty delineating between tissue and earwax so the measurements are always wrong if you don't get the ear completely clean and you have to do it so carefully i don't know if you notice that i'm using much softer tools because if your ear is inflamed from the cleaning part measurements are off too so it's no good that way well we've got we've got in the uh, in the ear category right now we're working on um, a serum that makes it so that you smell limes um, instead of anything else uh, no we had the idea first they were just faster to develop it trying to be um, dishonest. I think we're pretty much done with this side. I did. I did work with them just a little bit, but it was so short. Like, we started working together like maybe two months, and then I split off from them. So I went to school with Harrison Dalton, and, um, and it just wasn't working. I, I just felt like they wouldn't let me be in control of anything. They weren't um, good at sharing ideas and power, and I just felt like I could do better. And Belinda has, like, Belinda's a complete control freak. So, yeah. And I wanted to help run aspects of it, and they just weren't amenable. Yeah. No, Belinda's an absolute nightmare to work with. She's, I mean, we were friends for a while. I'm like, me and Harris has never, I've never liked Harris. But no, just after working with her, it was pretty much no thanks. You have a lot of stuff you need to sign first. And oh, what is that? Um, like I said, we need to get all your metrics first. Alright, that looks 
it's great. It's doing it as gently as I possibly could because of the, the inflammation. So, next, I'm going to be inserting a small device. We'll start with your, uh, with your left ear. Uh, I need to hold it there because it frequently tries to fall out, so I just gotta stand there and be a... Stand very still. <laughs> feed it all to the computer. I couldn't I couldn't really tell you what the, the numbers even mean, honestly. Yeah, you gotta hold it real still. I'm gonna just place my, my hand on the side of your head if that's okay. Thanks, I'm just trying to steady you because I have to hold this in here. to switch over. They're incompetent over there. Dalton is just bumbling, honestly. I'm pretty sure they've killed some of their subjects before. I mean, there's no evidence of it, but, um, what's her name? Gray. Sandra Gray, the one who supposedly died in a car crash. I don't freaking buy that. I tried to get a hold of the autopsy reports, but I couldn't. That was back when I was trying to bring IUI down, and now I don't. I don't have to do that. I'm not like a vengeful, evil person or anything like that. I. It was a competition at first, but um, they're not even competition anymore. We're doing so well, so. I don't really need to go after them. But still, you should be aware. Okay. Yeah, she seems nice, but... Sure. Well, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I think we're done. With that side. No. Dalton's... She's like a golden retriever. It's fine. But Harris? No. No, thank you. Don't make me start on Morris. He's a nightmare. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, the readings... I just... just get in this side. We have to get them from both. Sometimes ear sizes and compositions are different ear to ear. I mean, you know that no one is symmetrical, right? should ask her about it. Well, of course she doesn't. They don't tell her anything. 
I'm actually surprised that uh, you met Harris at all. Like I said last time, uh, that's not her style. About halfway done. Doing great. I'm really hoping, actually, that you get him. We have some really cool stuff coming out. That I think will wow you. Uh, yeah, so advantages. Uh, we do offer a compensation package. We do a per experiment basis. It's 50 to 200 depending on the uh, risk. Yeah. But we also offer a hefty discount when it comes to market. So if a product uh, passes all the tests and we bring it to market, you get a 75% discount on purchasing it for yourself. Yeah. Pretty generous package. scraping because it's virtually nothing. It's a minuscule scrape. It's microscopic. But it will take a small, small sample of your skin. It's just gonna go on the outside of your ear here. some measurements. Unfortunately, I will have to take some measurements manually after this because, uh, yeah, it doesn't take all of them. But it's also taking samples of the different um, flora in your ear and for some of them and disqualify you for others.
doing great. Almost done. interesting to me. We don't do any of that experimenting on animals. It's so pedestrian. Okay, I'm gonna do some slight movement. Just gotta stay as still as you possibly can, please. Just so squirmy. All right. I need to take a couple of manual measurements because, yeah, because not all of our devices do everything for us yet. <laughs> Someday. I'm going to be getting measurements of your ears, but I'm also going to be getting some facial measurements simply because we are not only ear based, as I said. We do many, many types of experiments. It's just, like I said, ear is really in right now. It's what people want, you know. It's, it's what everybody's buying. judgments. <laughs> I mean, maybe judgments quietly when you're not listening. I'm kidding. Big ears are good. Small ears are good. We have experiments for both kinds. Thankfully, all the really tiny inside measurements were taken by the uh, inner ear device. Thank goodness. Those are so hard to get manually. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, yeah. That's a weird question. Sure. It's not my favorite part, though. I really enjoy, um... I really enjoy seeing if experiments work, like, when one of our inventions does what it's supposed to do with minimal side effects. That's the part I really enjoy about the job. I'm just gonna measure around your neck here really quick. on that. I mean, Bethany is in training right now, but she's essentially um, who will be doing that kind of thing, hopefully, in the future. Okay. couple of your facial features. Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. Has anyone ever told you that you have the perfect size of nostrils? feeling about that. Mostly um I can't tell you that. Join the program. Well, I know that's what you're trying to do, but side. Do your ears really quick. Then we will get you out of here and hopefully be seeing you again in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. That's surprisingly symmetrical, actually. It does make some of our experiments easier. It's all hearsay. And I'm trying to be the bigger person and not spread that kind of stuff anymore. in the lobe. I don't think so. Perfect. I'm going to measure the back of your neck real quick. Um, we have one invention that attaches here, the top of your spinal cord. Okay. Okay, I feel I'm really good about this. So I will have Bethany reach out to you if you qualify for any current inventions. If you don't and you'd still be interested in signing up for uh, being part of the experiment group, we can put you on the wait list for any coming experiments. So, but I'm sure that I'll be hearing from you and seeing you again soon. Thanks for coming by.